Today's episode is sponsored by Walmart. Today we are decorating my house for Christmas. It's a little bit late, but better late than never, they say. So I've already got my Christmas jammies on. I'm gonna turn on the flat fire for a little ambience, maybe a Christmas romantic comedy. But we're gonna start by decorating my tree. And then once we've got that underway, I've got 10 last minute gift ideas for you. So let's get started. I've just got a few things to pull out of the way and we're gonna start setting up this Christmas tree. Just got something fun for my special one, but my love don't cost a dime. Waiting for Santa to come, he'll be knocking on my door. Treat the old and the young. I hear sleigh bells in the snow. Holding on to a bunch of reindeer, he'll be making his rounds. Working harder for every year when the creek. I'm not one of them, the three wisest men, but I got an open heart. If you so now it's time to start decorating the tree and we are gonna start up top this year we are gonna use our snowflake theme again we're gonna make a few small tweaks though i've also added a deer theme this year to kind of shake up the overall look and so we're gonna add elements of that in it's gonna be blacks and golds and whites and it's gonna hopefully be really fun and really pretty so we'll start up top i've got this really extra large snowflake that i will wire up top and then a couple of more snowflakes to kind of really make a statement piece up top so let's get decorating. Working harder for every year when the Christmas spirits all over the town. So I feel like we've got a good start to our tree topper over here. It needs some ribbons and bows. And I've selected this gold and this brown color. I also have a little bit of a black and white. And I just feel like these match really well to my tree skirt. I've had this for years. And so we're gonna kind of bring in some of those bronzy tones and darker tones because it will bring in that deer theme a little bit more. I just take this and wire it in using the branches to kind of pinch and loop. And then sometimes I will use like some green twist ties so we can wire it to our tree and it's not noticeable. So we'll start doing that now. Okay, we are gonna pause in our tree decorating for just a minute and I'm gonna share with you 10 last minute gift ideas. You can pick these up at Walmart and I'm gonna tell you the best way to go about that in just a second. But let's get started with these gifts right now. And my first one is a Sherpa throw. You can never really go wrong with a throw. You can never have too many Sherpa throws, in my opinion, as well. This is made by Better Homes and Gardens. It's beautiful, it's so soft. I picked out the black and white kind of large buffalo check pattern because I'm gonna actually use it here on my sofa, but they have it in a lot of different color choices and options. It's just so soft, so luxurious feeling, and I think it would make a really great gift idea. And by the way, all of these gifts I will number there will be a number on the screen and just go down and find the corresponding number in the description box with the matching links and it will be easy for you to find but yes it comes in a ton of different colors and I think it would make a really excellent last minute gift idea. Next up is this duo candle. So it's two candles in one. It's made by Better Homes and Gardens. They come in a lot of different colors and scents options. The one that I selected was this vanilla bean and myrrh option and so the idea is that it has four wicks and you can light them together light one side and then the other really fun idea really nice and everybody can use a great candle for a gift idea i love that and so that one is a good one to consider. Next up, this gift idea is not a good gift idea for everyone. Like myself, for example, I am a serial 
plant killer. And this is a beautiful poinsettia planter that's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I love it. I would kill this in about two weeks, but I do have several friends that are plant whispers and it's just a beautiful way. So instead of sending flowers, send something like this. It arrives boxed up really nicely. You can deliver this to a friend out of town, have it delivered to your own house. I think that this is so Christmassy for the plant whisperer in your life. <laughs> Not me, unfortunately. I try, <laughs> I really try, but I either overwater or underwater. I just can't seem to find that right balance. Next up, I am so excited for this. My husband's getting this for me and he doesn't know that he is. <laughs> I do for shop for your own Christmas presents. That's kind of fun sometimes. Okay, it is this beautiful pots and pans set comes with containers and kitchen utensils and beautiful cookie sheets. Sometimes your pots and pans just get tired and you need something new. And this I think would make a really great gift idea. Super high rated, beautiful. This one's kind of like a, a creamy, like ivory color and gold accents, which I loved, but it also comes in a black and gold option as well. But I love this. The price was really affordable for how many pieces that you get. It's so luxurious looking like I said the reviews were really really good so I'm excited thank you honey <laughs> so this next one I went hunting for because of all of you it is a little mini slow cooker now it's actually a two pack so you get two for the price of one in this set and there's this one that's kind of a gingham one and then they have a floral option and the reason I got suggested this was because I do a lot of simmer pots and I have been doing them on my stove and everybody's like you need to get a little mini crock pot to do your simmer pots in and really get that holiday sense or even just like the fun sense all year round and then you can also use it to cook so like double win there and like I said the price is really good it comes with two it's by pioneer women and i was so excited to find this and i know that it would be fun to give as a gift to somebody else and maybe you could couple it with a little simmer pot little setup we've made that in a christmas gift video not too long ago you could give gift to them that and a little mini crock pot for it. It's kind of a fun gift idea. Really easy to do, last minute. So next up, I didn't bring one of my Cricut machines down, but I am going to include the Cricut Explore Air 2. It's a great Christmas gift, and it's one that if you have a crafter in your life, it's a gift that keeps on giving. I did the Cricut Explore Air 2 because it's the lowest barrier to entry. And I just think that the price for the capability is really awesome. If you watch my channel for a long time, you know that I'm a huge advocate for Cricut. And I think that it makes a really great gift idea. So now's the time to snag one of those. It's Christmas. It's a great gift. And I know that the crafter in your life will like it a lot. <laughs> okay, next up, this is kind of fun. If you have like somebody who likes to sing or do karaoke, I found this all-in-one party mic and speaker set. So basically it's Bluetooth so you can connect it to the microphone and sing along your favorite songs. And I'm actually going to give this to my daughter. She has an amazing voice and I think she'll have a lot of fun with this microphone. She can sync up all of her songs, sing it into the microphone to her heart's content. And I think that that is really fun. And it would be kind of a fun party thing to have around as well for like if you want to have like a karaoke session or whatnot. So fun gift idea, right? How are we doing so far? So these next ones are kind of for the candy lovers in your life and I'm counting them all as one, um, but I've got several different like fun uh, flavors, if you will. So the first one is this Oreo shake set. I just think it's really fun. My husband loves cookies and cream ice cream, loves it. Has it almost on a daily basis. So I thought this little milkshake set with the Oreo on it and this scoop and the straw, I just thought this would be just like a fun little easy gift that my kids could maybe give my husband. So if you have an Oreo lover, there's this. They have a whole bunch of different options this year and I'm gonna link a few of them below. Next up is the Reese's peanut butter set. So if you have somebody who really loves Reese's peanut butter cups, this might be a fun option. It comes with mugs, Reese's pieces, Reese's peanut butter cups, super fun. If you know they love it, it's gonna be a win. <laughs> They're gonna love it. <laughs> and then finally, we have the Hershey's one. So the 
peanut butter cup one is one of my sons. The Hershey's bar is my other son. He loves his Hershey's. It comes with a s'mores set up with the Hershey's bar and some mugs as well. A super fun little gift. Easy, you know, just super easy. They make great neighbor or friend gifts. Make a great gift to take to like a, a Yankee swap exchange. So just a fun, easy thing. And this next one <laughs> went missing. So we're gonna hunt for that this episode and hopefully I'll find it. But I ordered some headphones, some wireless headphones for one of my sons to wear when he games. Um, they're really good quality. They're by Sony. I'm really excited about them. And even if you're not a gamer, you can still use wireless um, um, headphones. They work great with laptops and all of your electronics. And I just thought that everybody can use a good <laughs> pair of headphones. And I don't know about you. I don't love the stuff that you put in your ear, but sometimes you just want some really good ones that are comfortable that go over your ears. So if that's the case for you, I think you'll like those headphones. And then finally, this is also going to my daughter. It's a portable charger and hand warmer. So she can charge her cell phone because the kids are always like on their phones, right? And wearing out the battery, but she lives in a cold climate. So having a hand warmer would be really handy for her as well. So she can keep her little hands nice and warm. Moms always want their kids to be nice and toasty, right? <laughs> Especially if you live in cold climates. And it does even get cold occasionally here in Florida. So that might be nice to have around like the, the theme parks to keep your hands warm on a chilly night. <laughs> so anyways, those are 10 quick, easy gift ideas that you can get very easily at Walmart. And my suggestion on this is avoid the lines. I hate the lines. So order it online, have it shipped to the person's house, have it shipped to your house, use one of their delivery options, use the pickup option, avoid the lines. It's a nightmare this time of year and <laughs> just trust me, oh, it's just so much easier to order it all online and simplify your life this time of year. So I wanna thank Walmart for sponsoring that section. I picked out everything. These are all my selections and so I hope you like them. All right, so let's get back decorating my tree and then we'll move on to the mantle and other areas and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So the tree is pretty much set and now we're going to do the mantle and the shelves. This is kind of the inspiration for my look this year is this art print that we did in a past episode. And you can see that it's kind of got the winter wonderland and the deer and the color scheme. This print spoke to me and so that's where this all started. So we're going to place that on our mantle with our mirror that we already have. It kind of stays up year round now. And then in a past episode, I made these and I didn't have a name for them and the overwhelming name that everybody said was snowflake spindles and so they're gonna go up now and I might even try to find a little tea light to set uh, like a, a battery operated one to set behind the snowflake because that was another suggestion a lot of people made so we'll see what we can do so before we get too far, I'm going to hang our stockings and I've shown how I've done this in a holiday hack episode before. So basically what I do is I take a couple of stocking holders and you can see I've got my stockings right here, but we're gonna set those right in there up against the snowflake spindles. And hopefully I don't mess this up and then we're gonna try to balance it out in the same spot over here and then you can see that I've taken my stockings and put them on a curtain rod and I just slip that into the stocking holder and this will hold the stockings like so isn't that cool? <laughs> that way I don't have to make any holes on my mantle and then I can adjust them accordingly. These little stocking holders will kind of get disguised once we put up our garland. So I'll just take a second to fidget with this. It's all right. Time for some garland. We're gonna do an asymmetrical look.
Okay, I've got some twist ties that we'll use and we'll kind of overlap this a little bit. And then I've got some that has a little bit of flocking on it. It's really pretty and we're gonna mix that in. Okay, so I've got more like greenery that we're gonna add to this with, but first, before we do those finishing touches, I got this little snowflake um, string of lights that I want to interweave and I'll do that first. And that way we can bring in our snowflake theme a little bit more and add a little twinkle light to the mantle because that'll be fun, won't it? So we're gonna hide the little battery pack over behind here. Okay, pulling the theme in a little bit more. This is a DIY we did a little bit back and we're gonna put it right here. And then just a few more finishing touches and this mantle will be done. Okay, we're looking really good. The next thing up is the shelves. Now, I kept things a lot simpler this year. It was just the mood, I think. <laughs> Most of what I put on my shelf was existing decor that I had or DIYs that we made this year. So if you haven't seen those yet, make sure you check my Christmas playlist. It will have all of the things that you are looking for there, I promise. After the shelves, I put our pillows on the couch and I had some dear ones. I had these um, brown leather pillows that I've had, some fluffy pillows. These are just an assortment of things that were a little bit neutral and just had a little personality with the deer ones. I thought that was kind of a fun little way to pull in that deer theme a little bit more. And then I took that Sherpa blanket that I just told you about put it on the back side of the sofa this is just a way to kind of add a little interest and texture to the back of the sofa but I have a feeling it will get pulled out a lot and to snuggle and watch Christmas movies and all of that and then some other finishing details that we did in the living room was I added a wreath that I already had to this iron grate that I have up on my walls year round. I also added a wreath to my street lamp and that's gonna look really cute and then finally, I added some Christmas greenery to the existing wreath on my blanket ladder. <laughs> and just cause I, I didn't want to take it out and I had some extra Christmas greenery. And so you don't always have to like change everything out. You can just add a little Christmas greenery to your existing decor and it will give that Christmas vibe. And then some snowflake beads to kind of finish that all off. And I can't wait for you to see the finished look of the living room in just a bit, but we're gonna move on to the dining room. So in the dining room, I had actually moved Dolly's crate over into that corner in front of the mirror, and I had a little Christmas tree that I set on top. Super simple, I didn't even decorate the tree. I thought just the twinkle lights and the greenery were enough. I am not too fussy and too busy in this year. Like I said, even though I really want it to have a nice Christmas vibe, I'm trying to keep things a little simpler. And then of course we went to decorate our tablescape, which I wanted to bring the deer theme into that as well. So the first thing we did for the tablescape was take a table runner that matched my captain's chairs and it was a little bit wrinkly. So I just put a little wrinkle releaser on that to get the wrinkles out without having to iron it. it was, and it worked, it worked out great. And then I set a wood bowl in the center and put out a little bit of Christmas greenery on either side of that. And then I took and put in the bowl like another bowl to lift the height and then I also stuffed in some grocery bags around the base and then I took some greenery that I had and just filled that up to kind of cover up the mechanics of what we were doing and then I took my faux snowballs that we made in a previous episode this year and I stuck those on top of the bowl there and then I had some really cute snowflake string lights that are battery operated that I picked up at Walmart and I pushed those in around the snowballs and then I had a couple of little wood snow flakes that I tucked in there for 
effect because we're doing the snowflakes and deer theme. So we're going to carry that on over there as well. Then I placed a couple of deer on the table and then some candlesticks that I had and candles. And it was just a very simple tablescape, but it totally works and is so cute. And then I just tucked a couple of little Christmas trees into my china hutch and that was it. I really could have done more with the artwork and other things, but again, I'm trying to keep simplicity this year. And so that's all I did. So in the kitchen, I just wanted to do a couple of little touches to bring Christmas in there because the kitchen is the heart of the home and I don't know, you need a little Christmas in there. So I just did a couple of things. I cleared out some of my other items and the first thing I did is on my little towel ladder that we made, I switched out the wreath for a Christmassy one and it was just a simple switch and super easy and I pinned that into place. And then I took a couple of these spindle Christmas trees that we made, I believe last year, and tucked them into the corner. It really added some nice height that I needed in that area. And then I added a Christmas tree cutting board and a joy tray that I made last year as well, and a little mini Christmas tree. And then I had these little reindeer candle holders that I just tucked in there with a cookbook stand and that was it super simple for that area then I just slid my joy candle stand that we made in a previous episode and by the way I keep talking about all these previous episodes if you haven't checked out the Christmas playlist everything will be there so check that out I slid that joy stand into place and that will be a really fun place to burn a candle then a, a couple of finishing touches is I just t switched out the wreaths on the back of my bar stools with some that were a little bit more Christmassy and had the black and white stripe that we've got going on. And then I added a fresh little black and white plaid towel and some Christmas greenery on the end cap of my uh, cabinets in the kitchen there. And that was it. Now for the entryway, super easy. So in a previous episode, I did this little ladder nativity tree and that was just such a fun project and it's still there and I left it as is. Next up, we turn to our railing and I just took some garland I already had and twist tied that onto our banister in addition to some wood bead garland with some snowflakes on it. Very simple. And then also where I normally keep tulips right there in the entryway, I just switched it out for a Christmas tree. Super easy fix. And that's it. I am so thrilled with how it looks. I could have gone way more over the top. I know that I kind of kept things a little bit more simple this year. That's just the mood that I was in. I hope you enjoy these final shots. And I'm just gonna let the music back it up and I hope you enjoy these final shots, but don't leave quite yet because I have a few little final thoughts for you um, and a, a little update. So stay with me a little bit longer.
hope you enjoyed decorating my house with me for Christmas. I want to thank Walmart once again for sponsoring this episode. Hopefully you found some really good last minute gift ideas. Take advantage of the delivery, the pickup, and all the things that will help you avoid those lines this time of year and make your life a little bit easier. After this episode, I am going to be taking a much needed break to recharge my batteries, spend time with family. So I just wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I love you all and I am so grateful for all of your support. And I want to remind you once again that you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.